not that goes in the halftime lead and not trailing. We got to lead. Yeah, we can fight back. You can say, oh, we fight, we keep fighting. But at the end of the day, we're losing. And the locker room, you don't hear no one being excited. You don't hear the fight song. And it's, it's getting old being a senior, senior, seeing this happen five years in a row where against good SEC teams, we play with them, but we always have to fight back. It's not taking charge and leading the whole game. At this point, I mean, are you, is it some point where you guys worry about just getting to a bowl game? Nah, I'm not worried about it. Um, you can't think that too far ahead. Um, we have three games left, two at home. We win those two if you want to think about it like that. And we're, we're bowl eligible. And then you go to Tennessee and whatever happens there depends on where you go. So we just have to come back next week, take care of business, and take care of Charleston Southern. Does it just seem like one of those years where you know, if it's not one thing, it's another? You just can't seem to get it to build upon any, any of the good stuff that happens on either side of the ball? Yeah, it's, it seems like one of those years, Like again, it's pretty common for us. Um, we've had a lot of great teams here since I've been here. We've been ranked, and then a couple games we'll shoot ourselves in the foot. Like the uh, last last time Mississippi State came, when my redshirt freshman year, 07. 07 will beat LSU, beat Louisville. And we played them and once again turnovers and then another magical year. So it's becoming a reoccurring theme for this team year in and year out. And we have to grow up from that. We have to step it up, do whatever it takes, and stop it. And be grown men and stop playing like little boys in the first half or shooting ourselves in the foot.